Hi everybody and welcome to the Meta Taylor YouTube channel. Today we'll be looking at the first video in a series of videos where we'll be going into an in-depth tutorial on how the Meta Taylor app works. Meta Taylor is the kit bashing app of avatar creation. It is a real-time application built on a game engine that allows you to instantly dress your character in different outfits, swap out pieces of clothing, and design a whole wardrobe that is rigged and game ready straight out of the program. That's absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and hop online, download the free version, or if you want some extra cool features, go ahead and grab that pro version. And while you're down there, give us a like and subscribe to be able to follow along with all of our future videos. All right, so let's go ahead and hop in and start playing with the app. All right, here we are on our launcher. You can see right here, we've got a little Discord icon. Go ahead and click on that and join our amazing community. Show us your designs, your outfits, the different things that you create. And if you have any questions, concerns, or quandaries, go ahead and ask it there and we'll help you out. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and open up the Meta Taylor app. You can see right here, I've got all the previous avatars I've been working on. I'll go ahead and hit dismiss right here because we're gonna cover all of that. And you can create new projects or import projects over here on the left. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this World War II soldier and we'll go ahead and take a look at this. Takes just a beat because of all the assets it has to load. All right, there we go. So this is our viewport. This is everything we can see on our character right here. We can spin around our character, or as I like to call it, tumble around our character and take a look at the outfit that way. We can middle mouse click and drag to pan around, and we can zoom with the middle mouse in and out. And if you start to lose your character, you can just tap F on the keyboard and it'll bring them back to center. All right, over here on the left, we have our dynamic layering. Dynamic layering is the coolest part about Meta Taylor, in my opinion. It's got a lot of cool things, but the fact that I can just click and drag and say a boot right here, and I can untuck and retuck the pants, or if I had shirts like a t shirt or long shirts, I could tuck those into pants as well. The way this character is designed, the shirt and pants, you really don't notice them being tucked and untucked, but the boots are an easy way to go ahead and show that. That's all over here in our dynamic layering window. You can save your projects with this little icon right here, import, export them out, or play with our new physics that we are just releasing now into beta. Over here on the right, we have our content browser. This is where you can download tons of free content, even more content and if you're, if you're a pro, and even more content if you wanna buy it off of our marketplace. Now, what do I mean by buy it off of our marketplace? Sellers and content creators that are not part of MetaTailor can upload their outfits and sell them in the marketplace. You can be one of those people as well. You can create something in ZBrush, Maya, Blender, any program that you that you like, Marvelous Designer, and upload it into MetaTailor for free. It costs you nothing to upload it into MetaTailor, and then you can put that on the marketplace and sell it to other creators and users. So if you create something really cool, you can sell that out there. I want to be very clear: we're not really hiding anything behind a paywall. MetaTailor gives you plenty of stuff to work with in the free version, even more in the pro version. All that other content is made by other people. So that, that is where you can get access to that. Uh, you can see your own content by clicking on my content right here. Search through that. You can see all the different things that I have. Up here on the right, we also have the tools option. This allows you to scale, move, rotate when you have an item selected, like let's say this helmet wasn't sitting 100% properly. If I wanted to even tighten this helmet up a little bit, I can go ahead and hit scale and bring that down just a little bit, maybe a little bit closer to his head, bring it back a little bit, and go ahead and hit confirm. And it retailers it and rescales it on there to be a little bit tighter. You can see you can grab, shrink wrap, push, pull, smooth, all different options to just make your clothing fit nicer and uh, better on your character. Underneath the viewport settings, we have a couple other options. We can change the nice looking background to either warm, cool, sunset, anger, uh, cyberpunk, I'll leave it at cool for now. We also have these amazing animations where you can see your character doing different actions and motions. I'll unclick that helmet there for a second. With that set on. Because like we said, everything in here is rigged and game ready. So you can see all these outfits in action. You can rearrange them and see them still working. If I wanted to break it, I can drag all this underneath there. It retailers everything, moves it, and makes sure it's still ready to go in game. 
That is it for today's video. Like I said, just a surface level look at everything Meta Taylor can do. In the future, look for those other videos where we'll be talking more about dynamic layering, the content browser and marketplace, importing out of programs like Maya, Marvelous Designer, and ZBrush into Meta Taylor, and exporting out for programs like Unity and Unreal. We'll be talking about all those different tool settings as well as stuff in the viewport and much, much more all about Meta Taylor. Until then, make sure you give us a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you all later. Bye.